I'm finishing 2016 with 24 million in production and would like to do 30 million next year. I currently get 97% of my business from referrals. What else can I do? Wow. First off, 24 million, you're kicking butt, 97% of your business is repeat and referral. Gosh, it brings me back to the days where I was in real estate and I worked only by referral. I love it. So here's what I will tell you from what I did. When you get to a certain point where you do have a lot of referrals coming in and the majority of your business is coming from referral and you're, you're, you're being a producer, 24 million you're actually producing, right? Um, here's what I would tell you to, to do, and this is what I thought about. How do I increase in referrals? How do I get people to refer me more? How do I do this? And so a couple different methods. One, are you truly taking advantage of the TIE 35 is what I'd ask you. I know you probably are, but I can't dismiss it. Are you implementing all of the items that I did to increase that referrals? I'm telling you, it works. I promise you, I would not make you go spend time and money and energy and effort towards something that did not work. And still, I don't believe that would work today. It still works today in this world. So number one, are you doing the TIE 35? The second thing, what I did when I really wanted to increase my referral business is I found I need to actually be introduced to people that, peop that, that use me already. So for example, if I represented a buyer or a seller, I needed to have an introduction to their friends and family members where it was a warm introduction. I didn't want to gain new net people and try to build rapport. I wanted it to be a warm introduction to those folks. So what I did was I hosted housewarming parties and I showed up, right? Hey, I want to bring the drinks, the appetizers, whatever it may be. I'm going to come in, I'm going to do a housewarming party for you, and they invite you, and you meet all of their sphere of influence, right? You meet all these folks, people that they care about, and they're probably going to give a little speech about you, so are you doing the housewarming parties, okay? Third, are you truly taking advantage of the business world, meaning people you do business with, vendors, plumbers, painters, attorneys, lenders, title companies, mortgage, etc.? Are you truly taking advantage of it? Do you have a true book of business people that you can go to, build rapport, where you can say, hey, I'm giving you business. What's up, baby? Give me some too. Who can you introduce me to? Who do you know that I don't know that's in my business directory that I need to have a referral to so I understand them? Warm introductions again. That is what I would do tomorrow. Now, what you're probably thinking is, I'm doing all this, Tyler. I've got, it. I've got that down. I'm doing it. How consistent are you? I found that I've got referrals when I went and saw these folks, the people who loved me. How often are you seeing the people you sold homes to? How often are you calling them? How often are you doing a video? Hey, it's me, just wanted to say it's your year anniversary and send them through a text message. How often are you connecting with them so they're thinking about you? Guys, remember, when someone's buying a house, right, they see other people and meet other people buying a house. When you're buying a car, you see that car everywhere. So what I would tell you is, how often are you staying in front of their mind that you are the real tour? Um, I mean, that's what I would ask you. So I know that you're probably looking for the quick fix or the what can I do tomorrow that's gonna get me more business. And I think what you're missing is the opportunity you have in front of you with your people that already trust, love, and, and care and, and want to do business with you. And they know other people who do, and I think you just need to go in front of them and talk to them more and, and, and make it bigger. And so uh, I wish I could give you the quick fix, but to me, that's the long-term play. It seems like you're thinking long-term if you have 97% of referrals and you're doing 24 million. Let's get to 30, baby. How can you take 2017, take this next two weeks, Say, I'm going to look at the TIE 35. I'm going to look at how to build better relationships. I'm going to look at all these items. I'm going to put it in my plan for 2017. And I'm going to tell TIE, you know what, baby, I'm at 30 Q1, right? You know, I'm at 30 halfway through. I'm at 30 Q4, whatever it may be. How can you do that? Good luck, my friend.